Hey guys, just uh, came back from around a 200 mile journey in the car and uh, I was checking the fluids and uh, it looks like the fluid, uh, the trans automatic transmission fluid in the uh, power steering is a little bit milk, uh, not milky, but you can see it's kind of dirty and I did change this a while ago, but it looks like it might be time for another change uh, because when you sort of put it in there see it comes out and when we spread some on the napkin it's uh, I don't know. It's, uh it looks a little dirty to me last time I wiped it down this isn't too bad but you know I thought we would do a uh, flush and any car that has power steering that has this kind of canister on top you can do this with uh, what you do is you need some kind of suction device like that right that we use this in my other videos for an oil change what we're gonna do is we're gonna uh, suction out what's in here first. Then we are going to connect to the uh, inline. Oh wait, the outline. Sorry, confused a little bit. We're gonna connect to one of these lines, and then uh, we are going to we're gonna connect to the uh, outline. I'm pretty sure. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna add few, uh, add fluid and uh, let it drain uh, let it drain into the system and run it through the system basically. So. Let's, uh, let's get going with that. Okay, first step is we're gonna drain the fluid. And here we are, we have it draining right now. Um, I don't think I even opened the valve, but I think it's already creating pressure somehow. Okay, now it's flowing even faster, pulling the dirty fluid up. Just gonna make sure we're suctioning all that. Get as much of it as you can out. You could use a turkey baster for this. But for the next part that I'm going to do, you can't really use a turkey baster because we want to get a, a good flush going. So I think we are... Almost done. I'm just going to give that machine a few pumps. But you get the point. You're going to suck that out and then we're going to connect to this upper hose and the point of getting to the upper hose with the suction pump is as we pour fresh fluid in there um, it's gonna drain into the system and we're gonna pull and we're gonna pull it out this way right so we're just running it all the way through the system just get everything we can I'm gonna get the maximum we can out of there. I can't see much in the video, but we get the point. All right, so next step. Okay, so we've already started draining it. We've connected to the upper hose. Uh, and now what we're gonna do is we're gonna, before we run out of the old fluid, by the way, that's an eight millimeter up here. Oh, oh, not good. Transmission fluid everywhere because mobile one really likes to fill. Okay. Transmission fluid. So we're gonna try to. And I know we're spilling it everywhere. It kind of is a mess because of the way it opened. Gonna try to fill that up. Until we're sucking clean transmission. I know, it's a friggin' mess. Okay, so at this point, we want to stop draining it. <sighs> okay, don't do it the way I did it. So, please learn from my mistake. Um, yeah, obviously, I, um, I took this out and didn't replug this. I should have been ready to replug this real fast or at least put something on it because what happened was I got a fresh automatic fluid just pouring out of there you probably saw it in the video um, and um, I wasted a lot and when I mean a lot I mean I will show you the mess I try to clean up but a lot of it just ended up going on uh, down there and uh, I dabbed it as much as I could but it's still there anyway don't do that that was really dumb um, I've never done this before so I wasted a lot of automatic transmission fluid 
and I use the uh, synthetic Mobile One ATF. Uh, so, yeah, basically that whole jar is gone now. Uh, anyway, getting back to the job at hand, I'm gonna get rid of this hose now. Because what we did was we kept adding transmission fluid and kept sucking it here until we kind of saw that it was coming out clean. So basically we, let, we ran ATF all through the system, fresh ATF all through the system. So that's why it works well. We're just gonna add um, some of this, uh, which is, I trust this company a lot, LoopGuard. I'll look up some of their products, see what the reviews say. I'm not being endorsed by this company as usual on this channel, on a small YouTube, small time YouTube channel. Uh, the only thing that keeps me going are subscriptions and likes on my videos. So uh, please do like and subscribe. And so we're just going to add a little bit of this. Uh, we might have a little too much in there. Let's, let's use the stick to find out. I like to close it so to get a real reading. Okay, so we're a little past the max. So we actually can't even add protectant, right? Because we're past the max line right there. So, but well, why don't we do this? We'll turn it on, turn the wheel lock to lock, and then we'll see what whether some of that fluid uh, runs down a little bit. And then if we need, we'll add some of the protectant. Yeah, ATF everywhere, all over my hands, all over my tools. But hopefully you guys will learn from my mistake and not do it that way. So now we're just gonna turn the wheel lock to lock. You wanna run that fresh fluid. Oh, that's the belt. I gotta replace the belt. And uh, in order to get to the that belt, I have to take off two or three other belts. So that's why I haven't done that yet. But I'll get, I'll get around to it. There'll be a video on it. The belt's slipping. It's probably because it's an old belt. Teeth have worn out. And instead of gripping on to the thing, they're just slipping. Also lets me know when I've come to the lock, right? Okay. Maybe if we turn it again this time with fresh fluid. I don't think it's the steering rack though. Or the fluid pump. I think it's the belt. Yeah. It's the belt. It slips. Needs a new needs a new belt. All right, um, let me check the leaks. Everything's wet because we spilled a lot, so it's hard to tell. So I would uh, keep wiping this down, come back in a couple of days and check again. Let's see if we can uh, open this up. All right, you see the colors change now. I don't know if you can see, but you know, obviously it's still there was still some dirty fluid left in there. I mean, you can't get the whole system out. But it's actually looking pretty decent. It's swirling. Maybe we'll suck some of that out and add a protectant. How about that? 